So you're on my new tripod again. And I've worked out the winder. <laughs> but you need hands that work. And when Phil was doing it yesterday, it looked so easy. It's not. Bloody hell. <sighs> God almighty. I wanted to talk a bit more about the Tesla. Um, and um, first of all, I've just remembered as I've said this, that's a bit bright. I'll just move you to here. That's a bit better, that's not so bright. Um, there's a lot, quite a few dislikes on that Tesla um, video. And I think um, a, lo a lot of people, me included, don't like Teslas. And a lot of people judge people that drive Teslas. And, and Phil was talking about it the other day. That, that uh, you know, there's a big sort of uh, hate on people that drive Teslas. Um, and I was not happy when he bought a Tesla, you know. And I said to him, "Well, you're not bringing it up my driveway." I think I probably mentioned that in a vlog. Um, but I thought about, um, and this is just me, you know, doing what I normally do. I was thinking. It was spooky, the, and you download software to create that light show, and you could, there are different um, light shows. So you know there's a, there, there are different ones you can download. But I was thinking, it's run on software. The whole car is is run on software, and I was thinking, it could so easily be hacked um, by someone that wanted to seek revenge on someone it could so easily be hacked or it could be all teslas could be, well maybe electric cars can be hacked i don't know i don't know enough i'm doing my usual thing i know a little bit and i'm i'm uh making up my own conspiracy theory about it um but i just sort of think is that you know is there potential for it to be hacked by um russia or someone you know russians or, or whatever and to get the cars to be doing um doing stuff that the cars aren't meant to do i know that they i i can't explain it really i mean it can only stop them being responsive to their driver but um yeah so i wondered about that the other thing that i wanted to mention oh before i go on to that so there's a lot of dislikes of the video and it might be people that dislike tesla and i don't care i mean i didn't do it for that i you know my channel's my channel if you like it you like it if you don't you don't <clears throat> but I, there were more dislikes, and I think it was about the whole Tesla thing. Um, but there is some one or two <laughs> that spend some of their life going through my videos and disliking them, and I and I just think it's it it makes me laugh when I look because it is only one or two, and it's like every single video and somebody is somebody's life's work, and I think how sad. How sad is it if that's your life's work that you're going along disliking my videos um, because you think it hurts me? And if you knew me well enough, you'd know I don't give a fuck. The thing um, about the Tesla is that, um, as I understand it, as a business car, which it is because, uh, you know, my son has a YouTube channel for his business. It is very tax efficient for him to own it. Now, I think it's probably all electric cars, but he it, it, it's very beneficial for him to own that in many ways, which is why he chose it. And he's not precious about it. So he's, you know, he's not polishing it and cleaning it and, and whatever. It goes everywhere. He drives it everywhere. It, he dumps stuff in the boot. He goes out and does his rock crawling videos, you know, with his um, RC cars. Um, takes his daughter to school, um, just uses it. It's it's his, um, just, yeah, he, it's just a car. And, um, but he, he was talking about how much better for him it is to own an electric car. I think it's an electric car, not a Tesla. I think it's just an electric car, but it's much more beneficial for him to have. So it took me, it's now, um, it's two nine thirty on Sunday evening, and it's only about two hours ago that I finally began to feel alive. Um, and I'm hoping that I'm going to feel alive tomorrow because I haven't 
felt brilliant for the last few days. And I do wonder, and I think I said in the last vlog that over the last few days I've had not loads of it, but I have had gluten. Um, whereas today I haven't. Today has been has been healthier on the gluten front. Let's put it that way. Uh, we had the chili, chili beef, which was sweet. So um, it wasn't healthy on that front. And then I had for supper, I'd got a, I had a, a lettuce, one of those sweet gem lettuces, a little bit of ham that was left. The ham that I bought for myself, Philip, um, a bit of the cheese that Phil bought with him and some crisps and some olives. Yeah, that's what I had for my supper uh, and a pear. So, you know, I'm wondering whether I feel better because I've had a healthier food today or no gluten today. We'll find out um it's very quiet here <laughs> that's taken some getting used to it's like the house is now empty and um it just feels weird that the stuff that was laying around am i repeating myself I think i am that you know their stuff was laying around their shoes were kicked off and by the kitchen door and bags and things and all that's just gone and now i put the hoover over which didn't take long and now it looks like they haven't been I know when I go upstairs and look at the bedrooms and have to strip the beds, I'll know they've been. But Oh, they moved my bike upstairs. I haven't looked at that yet. So I'm going to... They've moved that upstairs. They put, put it in half and then put it back together upstairs. So that's in the bedroom Phil was in. So I need to push that bed across so I can use the bike looking out the window. And when I feel better, I'll be able to get on the bike again. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to ride it for the last couple of days. We started to watch... <clears throat> Whitstable Pearl, which I think is actually not necessarily new. We thought it was. Mark started recording it and thought it was. I only wanted to watch it because I um, uh, spent two or three years, or only only two years in Whitstable, I think. And it's always been my favourite town um, in terms of I have fond memories of it. It was a good, goodish time in my life and was very sad to leave it. So I've often wanted to go back to its full so we watched it and oh my god what a load of crap it was so cliched it was just unbelievable and even though i love whitstable i can't force myself to watch the program it's like no please just unbelievable unbelievable so yeah we won't be watching that and i um I may have mentioned this, I started watching Netflix, uh, The Gentleman on Netflix the other night. Uh, um, Joe had recommended it and I think Dawn had recommended it. And I started watching that the other night on Netflix and got two, two thirds through the episode and thought, no, nah, sorry. It felt too contrived and it felt like it was trying to emulate Peaky Blinders a little bit. And I just thought, no, not for me. I got really picky. Some would say discerning. I'm saying picky. Yeah, so that's that. We've got to go out and buy a lawnmower this week. Mark did some shredding. Mark did some shredding um, to do some other bits of the garden. I might tack that onto this video at the end. I did a bit, a short video of it to send to Charlie. So I'm actually talking to Charlie on the video. Um, but yeah, I might tack it on to the end of this. So he did some shredding. So he's done the other bits on the driveway that were churned up. And we'll see what happens with that. Um, I've got to go and see my rheumatologist. Um, she hasn't prescribed me enough steroids. Um, and I've delayed it and delayed it, thinking, oh, I can make do, I can manage, I can doll out some one milligrams, but it just causes me anxiety. So I need to go and re get her to redo the um, prescription. I could do it over the phone. No, I couldn't. I'm saying I could do it over the phone. If I could, I would, but I can't. I could do it by letter, but I've already done a letter. I feel I ought to actually go there now and just go and see the receptionist and say, can you sort this out? Because um, she prescribed me 10 milligrams a day and I would need two boxes of five milligrams for that per month. And she's, I'm only getting five, one box per month, so it's not enough. I'm dolling out one milligrams now to stretch it, but I need to go and see her. So I think we'll do that tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, once I've, uh, once my tablets have kicked in, I don't feel up for it in the morning. So that's what we'll do. <clears throat> anyway, this 
this tripod is very tall the yeah it is very tall but that winder is not is not It looked easy when Phil did it, but never mind. It'll be fine. Anyway, on we go. Have, oh, it was lighter. That's what I was going to say. It is lighter than the other tripod, so that's nice. Um, okay, so this will come out. You'll see this in the morning. 11, 11 a.m. French time. I shall probably pu publish this. Okay, hope you slept well. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're going to sleep well because... Those of you in the Southern Hemisphere will be almost going to bed. Cool, he's stolen my japonica that's got flowers on it. That's naughty. Here's the shove it in and make it work variety, as you can see. He's not clipped any of those branches off, Charlie. Oh God, he obviously wasn't paying attention. 